Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love Vachitran Store and today I'm going to show you how to get the uh, Galaxy S8 launcher and the Bixby and the Galaxy S8 always on display on a Samsung device that is running the Nougat. As the new Galaxy S8 is coming out right now so it looks amazing and it has a nice and clean feel to it so we're just gonna try and install it on my Galaxy S6 Edge and your phone needs to be running Android Nougat for this so that is that and I also have this Galaxy S3 over here which is running the uh, Resurrection Remix ROM so we're just gonna try to install the S8 launcher on this as well and we'll see if it works so first of all let's go on with the uh, S6 Edge so we're, for, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in settings first of all and we're gonna go in application and we're gonna find the touch with home so we're just gonna see system maps as well so this is the first time that I'm trying to do this as well so we're just gonna try and uh, find how to do this together so this is the touch with home so we're just gonna go in this we're gonna go in storage and we're gonna clear that data and we're gonna go home and we're gonna go in my files and now we're gonna install the um, touch with home so we're gonna install this and it is done now so we're just gonna go out and see if it works so as you can see it is now working you have your swipe up for all applications you have your phone your contacts and internet icon over here so it looks really nice and as you can see if I swipe up uh, two times it uh, closes the app window and if I swipe up just once it gives me the app screen so as you can see it looks amazing and it is really <laughs> nice and all so now we're gonna go and try to install the Pixby. so we're gonna go in my files once again so I'm just gonna try and find the my files over here so let's go into the my files now so we're just gonna go in my files internal storage and we're gonna install this hello Bixby application over here we're gonna go done so after coming on to the home screen we're just gonna long press on the home key and we're gonna go in home screen settings and we're gonna activate the Bixby so we're gonna go in hello Bixby so as you can see I think it is already on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart the device because it sits so in the um, in the guide so let me just turn up the brightness I'm gonna turn off the blue filter so we can see what's up and as you can see the Bixby is now working let me just turn off the blue light filter now so we're just gonna start it we're gonna agree to this next we're gonna allow this all over here and as you can see it is now working and I have all my information over here so it is showing many things over here so uh, for more information I'll need to update the briefing so I'll update this but it looks really nice you can see it shows hello Bixby over there hello Bixby so it is not working right now so you have my schedule over here so I don't have any have anything in my schedule and you have your settings here as well so that is nice as well so and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the always on display from the um, Galaxy S8 so we're just gonna install this over here I think I need to first uh, clear the data from the always on display as well so we're just gonna go in applications we're gonna go in uh, 
show system applications and we're gonna find the always on display and we're gonna go in storage as well we're gonna go in clear data and we're gonna clear the data and now we're gonna go in my files and install the always on display service so we're gonna install this now so it is installed now and so now we're gonna try the always on display now so it says it may freeze for a second so or if it crashes you need to clear the data again so we're just gonna go in always on display settings so it is not letting me go into settings so it cr it just crashed so I'm just gonna try and go in the always on display once again so it is not working right now so I'm just gonna see if it work it if it is working So as you can see it is not working right now so I'm just gonna try and go into settings once again and we're gonna go over here and try to go into the always on display so we're just gonna wait for it if it responds so as you can see it crashes once again and it is saying that it may crash a couple of times so let's try and clear the data so let's go and try and see if it works now so as you can see it is now working so we're just gonna turn it on we have many settings over here so I'm just gonna select this so we're just gonna apply this and we're gonna see if it works so as you can see it is now working and it says double tap here to learn how to use always on display so Let's try and see if it works. So as you can see it is not working, but it looks nice, doesn't it? So we're just gonna go out and the always on display also works. So I'm just gonna try and see if it if all these things work on the resurrection remix ROM. So let me just get the S3 up. So as you can see here is the Galaxy S3 running the Resurrection Remix ROM. Let me just focus the phone right over here. And we're gonna go in File Manager. Here are the files so I'm just gonna install the TouchWiz Home because it does not have a original TouchWiz launcher so I don't think it really need to clear some data or anything. So if I press the home screen so I get this over here so I'm just gonna press on the TouchWiz and I'm gonna try that once again I'm gonna try the touch is home once again so let me make this clear this phone is running the Android Nougat but home application is still not work so as you can see you need to have a Samsung device running the Samsung OS on the Nougat or you need to have the touch base, the original touch base to get the asset launcher on it I think it might work on the custom ROM that are based or are ported from the Samsung Nougat devices so it didn't work on the S3 so I'm back with the Galaxy S6 Edge and I think you can notice that there is a space uh, between the base of the phone and these icons over here and as you can see there is some space between the widget, weather widget and the status bar as well and I think the spaces are there because of that on-screen navigation keys that the Galaxy S8 has it has the new I think uh, pixels pixel uh, like small option key over here so I'm gonna select these and delete these from over here so I'm gonna delete the shortcuts so it would declutter the home screen so I'm gonna select these over here as well I'm gonna remove these as well and you got that um, a create folder option over here as well I'm just gonna find a way to get these down as well we're just gonna go in home screen settings here and as you can see you can have the uh, separate home screen and you can also have the applications on uh, home screen just like the MIUI and all as well I don't really like it so I'm just gonna leave it like that and you also have the home screen grid over here 
so you have options of 4 into 4 you have 4 into 5 you have 5 into 5 and i always use the 5 into 5 and you also have the app screen grid over here as well so i'm just going to select the 5 into 5 and that looks more natural to me now and we're gonna go and you also have the hide apps key or show apps key so you can have the app screen like you have uh, in the normal launcher of the galaxy sx edge and the s7 edge over here and you also have the bixby setting here as well so you have hide apps as well you can hide apps in this as well and if you can if you select the wallpaper and all it would uh, take you to the samsung store you have widgets over here as well so i think that's it and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new here please subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching guys